YouTube, it's not Plan C, it's another little YouTube fix it video. This is a um, USB microscope. These things are all over eBay. I paid about 13 quid shipped all the way from China for this one. And it's a great little tool. Uh, I had it running for about two hours and then it packed up. I've got an Andom Star as well, but uh, to be honest, this is for 13 quid pretty good. Uh, two hours it packed up. Uh, it wasn't showing uh, up as a device, it wasn't showing a video. The light was coming on, uh, it just wasn't working, so I emailed the guy in China and he said send it back or whatever, I'll look into it. I thought, well, don't bother, I'll fix it. I'm going to show you how to fix it. How I approached it was wrong. If you're going to fix it, what you should do, take this uh, little silver collar off its plastic ring. That'll expose little holes and teeth going around here. Break one and then take this section off. I broke it here, which is bad. Okay, because there's um, <coughs> metal conductive poles going down and the board's actually sitting up here and using them. So half my fix it video was patching up what I'd done wrong. Obviously I've gone in here and had to make it good with <coughs> uh, hot glue and plastic dip. But you know, that's the sort of uh, quality you can expect from a 13 quid USB. Microscope, you know, you got the. I've got this off because I've been messing around with it, but you got light adjustment. I'll do it with my left hand, so you know, you can go in closer than that as well. They're pretty small parts, so um, I'm going to show you how to fix it or how to fix this one. So if yours packs up, you can get yours going, hopefully. USB is basically red is 5 volts, black is ground, and in between, you've got data plot. Shit, I'll probably just hit the photo cell there. Data plus, data minus. So I thought one of the wires has come off uh, inside. Getting into it was an effing nightmare. Um, first of all, I wiggled the two halves apart uh, like that. Sorry. Like that. I put tape over it because that was the photo cell. And it cracked, and it's got these two little tubes inside that go up and down, and that's what the thing goes up and down on. It's full of silicon grease, which is another reason for the tape over. Don't get it on the photo cell. I just went over it with a spade iron. And to my amazement, it is now recognising. So I'm going to put it back together, just in case anyone else has this. Um, that's how it's held together on the back. These are like uh, clips, and I think it's glued in. So you have to break the ring, the plastic ring that goes around it, which slots into those. That, that'll expose these little teeth, and then you'll just have to um, <coughs> yeah, basically pry it apart. And to find that out, I've had to cut that off with a, just basically sawed into it, cut it through, but it's only for me, so I don't really care. But yeah, just uh, went over the connections on the USB there, which are the four bottom dots on the right, went over the God. Yeah, the four bottom dots on the right, that's a photo cell in the middle, don't touch that, uh, went over the voltage regulator, uh, where is it, yeah the voltage regulator on the right top and there's a little voltage regulator on the left bottom there. Uh, the two pins at the bottom there, two pins at the top there. That little, sorry, that little regulator there on the top left. And uh, yeah, now it works. So I just got to get it back together. So I went with the shipping ten quid all the way back to China. The guy went, oh no, you know, I'll do it. But uh, I said, I oh, don't bother. I'll try and fix it. So anyway, if you've got one of these little USB mics and it packs up, don't throw it. Probably worth having a go. Got these two pins inside which I bent, and they just slot into the bottom there, and that allows this mechanism to slide up and down when it's retained. And then those have got to go through these holes here. The camera goes with these photo sensor facing out that way, and then we put it back on it. Hopefully, that should be it. But covered in grease, so let's see. So with a little bit of patience, that slides back in. It only goes in one way. There's a retaining clip on the zoom. And now we can zoom. Oh. Now we can zoom. On it. I've got duct tape on the side of it to stop the buttons falling in, but hold on. 
Now we can zoom. It won't zoom, it's because that needs to be shoved forward a little bit, but now we can zoom, so that's all right. Now just get the photo cell back in there and put the back on it, and it should all work. Camera working, and it occurs to me why are these metal is so cheap, and it's because they're powering the LED. And I've broken them off when I've opened it, so I'm going to blob solder on top, put the camera down, and then blob try and flow the solder through. Hopefully, see how that goes. Just revisiting this because the uh, light didn't work dimmer, so the side those pulled the um, board off, board off, and then uh, <coughs> pulling this up. It's covered in grease. Section comes out. Then that section comes out, and I'm going to get back to the LEDs and remake the connections. Basically, these two bits of <coughs> tube are what is conducting down to the LEDs. And they're working, I think. Okay, so that's the dimmer fixed. Um, I can't find it underneath the computer at the moment. Right, the dimmer's fixed. And the dimmer is the two, the, the, red, the green and the yellow wire, which go back to this little pot on the cable. And that's fixed. And then the LEDs are powered off those bars, so you just got to figure something out there and we should be good to go. So it's all back in, <coughs> all reassembled. We uh, put a couple of solder tinned wires on just to guide it in and then rubbed it onto the posts. Put in the posts so the, <coughs> the lights are We've got all connection all the way up. And then you know, just uh, hot glue reinforce these because there's no strain relief. <coughs> <coughs> the dimmer was round the wrong way, but I've put it round another way and it doesn't make any difference, so I'm going to put it back as it was.